Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. This is Travels with Phil, and we're in Washington, D.C., and going to take a trip over to the National Cathedral. Just a gorgeous place on the inside, obviously an operating church as well. Let's take a look at the videos. with Phil continues from the National Cathedral in Washington. A large church here. Been here before. I just love the stained glass windows here. It's the National Cathedral in Washington. And the towers are roughly uh, 10 stories high, so once you get inside and you see the open air situation, it's just, uh, just phenomenal. Uh, there's lots of beautiful artwork inside. Uh, the stained glass windows are just gorgeous, absolutely. Very nice interior design work. It's been in the operation for a long time. We're the planning building uh, procedure. I think they just finished it in 1990. But it is just a gorgeous spot. They're known for their gargoyles. They even have a Darth Vader gargoyle in there. Uh, these are some of the outside uh, works that you see here, look, starting out at the exterior of the building. They did have an earthquake and some pieces fell off, so they have to be very careful about that. So let's go inside and take a look at the interior of this enormous church. Travels with Phil continues inside the National Cathedral. And you can see the large stained glass window at the rear. Transit here. Ever watched a West Wing had a big scene here with the Martin Machine? Show you some of the other areas here very quickly. Yeah. As I said earlier, they have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stained glass windows. I'll try and zoom in and hold it still. It's very hard to do. I'll have to just check out my pictures later. Lots of pictures on the website. This is the Jerusalem altar. Outside of the city of Jerusalem, we believe they're the same quarries where King Solomon got the stones to build his temple in Jerusalem back in Bible times. No microphones. And laid in the floor in front of the high altar, there are ten small stones that came from Mount Sinai, representing the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses. The altar piece features in its center a carving known as Christ in Majesty. Christ has one hand raised in blessing, with his other hand he's holding the world. Please move on over this way if you're with my group. Now let's go downstairs. Travels with Phil continues in the National Cathedral. This is St. Joseph's Chapel directly underneath the crossing in the crypt. And these are the four main pillars that hold it up. Now. Several people are interred here. As you saw earlier, Woodrow Wilson. And here, I'll move up closer so you can see it. Helen Keller and her, long, uh, her lifelong companions, Ann Sullivan Macy, are interred in the columbarium behind this chapel. And it's also there in Braille. So that's also here in St. Joseph's Chapel in the crypt of the National Cathedral or the Cathedral of St. James and St. Paul, St. Peter and St. Paul. If you're interested in Helen Keller, I do have a separate video when I visited her birthplace. All right, we are still in the interior here, long, long hallways, very high vaulted arches. Outside they have flying buttresses, which helps uh, keep the walls from buckling and so that you can get these large, high, open spaces up here. Just, you know, just, if you like architecture, just gorgeous. And the uh, altars here are just very, very pretty. Uh, several chapels inside. The, some of them have uh, needlepoint work. Some of them have artwork. Some of them have carvings and wood. Some of them have uh, sculpture work. Uh, as you can see here, a very nice inlaid uh, um, woodwork. This is the alt or the uh, ambo, uh, the, where the, the lectern, where the, the uh, preachers, whomever, whichever denomination it may be, more than one to use this. Uh, they uh, that's where they give their sermons from, where their lectures from. Lots of pews out there, and uh, just uh, just a glorious, glorious spot if you like buildings, even if you aren't uh, religiously inclined. Uh, the artwork is just amazing. I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit here and let you listen. Just watch.
That's the Pentagon Christ made with a uh, cross made with parts from the Pentagon after uh, 2001 or 9/11. These are seating pads that are for famous people, done in interesting designs in one of the small uh, chapels. There's that cross again. They have numerous chapels inside the church, so you can go pray in different locations. Another one of very nice needlepoint works. Embroidery, perhaps. Very, very large uh, altar. Wood, wood carvings. Pipe organ. Very elaborate tapestries as well in one of the hallways. Don't know how old they are, but they look very old. And again, the insides are almost 10 stories high. So it's just phenomenally uh, tall ceilings. St. Joseph Chapel. All right, let's go take a look at some of the stained glass windows. There are lots of them, lots and lots. Here's a video. ...of hell, illustrated in the various medallions that surround the North Rose window are different stories that Jesus told relating to judgment, such as the story of the wise man who built his house on the rock and the foolish man who built his house on the sand. The seated figure of Jesus in the center of the window is a life-size figure about six feet tall. Remember the cathedral is equal to a 10-story building. It's much, much farther away from you than you would imagine it to be. And again, the uh, tour guides were not using microphones, so uh, your voice carries quite a ways. So if you're trying to talk to somebody while well, you're at a service or something, your voice is going to carry. All right, so I'm going to be quiet for most of these. I may pipe in with an occasional comment on the uh, stained glass windows. Some of them do come in groups of threes. Other than, of them come in groups of twos. Some of them are just solo panels. It can be hard to take pictures of stained glass windows. Uh, the window, the lighting conditions isn't always very conducive to taking good still photos. Now, up in the very center of this a circle, you see there's a small rock and that's actually came from the moon. And these are going through fairly quickly because I just have so many photos and this doesn't include all of them. Uh, you can go to my websites. If you look at the description field down below, you'll see links to uh, get to the pages where you can see the individual photos. There we go. This is the moon rock and that's the rock itself right there in the very center. Can't remember which Apollo mission it came from. But if you go to my website, so again, look at the descriptions down below and it'll take you to uh, when I went there in 2004 and when I came back in 2016. And you can see all the individual photos and look at them at your leisure. Some of them are worth lingering over.
Some of these areas they'll have a group of uh, stained glass windows on the lower level and a whole another uh, series on an upper level just above. I can't remember how many uh, windows there are. I want to say somewhere around 100. They're, ju they're just a large, large number. And I'm talking about each end of the major vertical panels there, not each individual piece of glass. Mostly the characters are religious, but you saw some uh, political ones. It was George Washington in one of those. Some are historical. Alfred the Great. Justinian. Some of these pictures, the quality is better. The f camera I had in 2004 wasn't really that good. The one I had in 2016 was very good. And even though it's taken a couple of minutes here, this is just a quick glance uh, through the stained glass windows. Let's go outside to the whimsical gargoyles. Again, I, I don't have a picture of it, but uh, one of them is Darth Vader. Uh, that looks like a bear. Uh, gargoyles are where the water comes off. And quite often they were uh, dramatic or horrible uh, creation creatures in the churches. Symbolism in everything. Uh, the, the National Cathedral is not near the major um, popular areas in Washington, D.C. It is off on its own, so you do have to go look for it. Uh, it's not near the mall or the White House, but it's just a gorgeous place, and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.